it's that's that's correct but no none of us were in zone at the time so but i agree we just go role play to avoid it yeah but it's even that you know anyway guys welcome aboard we're uh we're back the test server is back up and uh that means it's time to do more stuff we're out here in a nice desert place and we're gonna take down something else or we're gonna try to if we if we make it we're going on to something else bigger and better and if we win that we're gonna move on to something even bigger and it'll keep going until well friday night we'll have something really big so thank you for joining everybody and uh get ready and welcome don ward while you're awake don wait don ward you are awake welcome back from youtube and all you guys out there thanks and we were really scared that the test server was down but i'm glad they're fixing it and uh it is tuesday night and it's time for our two groups to keep the ball rolling so what are we doing tonight tonight we're doing the dps check we always start off with some kind of dps check from the beginning and uh it's either like a, a an epic type of raid mob or a little something else and it's always a good time when the server comes back up because you have a good shot at getting stuff here so uh let's talk about the levels first and i am awake don thank you so much the levels are we're all at level 76. i can show you the raid here Everybody 76, so this is good. We're doing it progression style, which is a lot of fun. And whoa, look at that. It's here, this big water dragon thingy. Much bigger than Fade Eater, probably the biggest one. And there's these other ones, these steam elementals. They are level 68. And good old Miss Walker is level 70. We'll take an army to destroy. But don't be fooled because Miss Walker here is really really a lot tougher than that one of the highest hit point mobs out here very very high hit points will be a tough challenge for us and we have 10 people in the zone right now so let me go ahead and introduce everybody first I'll switch the camera and we have on the left less sk he'll be tanking group one in our raid and also in his group will be shadow one shadow one's over here we also have a Sean. He'll be our monk in the front. We have Perlando. He's turned into a mini ice giant now. Their healer will be the one and only No Deaths Nodens. He'll be there in group two. It's going to be the ranger group. And Twin B, played by Batty Bat, has now turned into a ranger. She's going to play that. And I'll be playing Yonix. That's right. If you play badminton, make sure to buy Yonix. But uh, he's also a ranger too. And we have not a baby back there to heal us and Meiji. So we're, everybody's little on the second team except for Yonix. He's half size. And I'm your host, Dr. Martin, right here. There's some guys coming in the back. These are part of the script of the zone. Now, what can I tell you about Miss Walker? Miss Walker's got a gigantic load of hit points on him, just tons and tons and tons. I think for us it's about six million to put that in perspective that is about that's probably more than your regular group level broken mirror mob so it has a lot of hit points what i can tell you it has some effects i won't spoil it as to what it does to you but we have taken down fiddleback and oblivion they were already tough this guy is, is the toughest one the way it goes is once you can kill off all these raid mobs then you can move on to higher stuff and he is if in stage 12 if you're looking at the comments below the video we have this guy in stage 12 so we need to finish him before we can move up even though we have killed overlord matamura so one little thing is he does spawn some ads i think they're time based and they go away at a certain point so you just have to basically survive that it's going to be one crazy fight i'm telling you uh, but i think i'm confident in our group because everybody's been working hard to gear up and uh, get ready to fight them so um we have to probably clear a couple steam guys no big deal here and uh this is a good spot if anybody wants to if we can somehow get miss walker over here or it, within view it would be good because the fog or the steam i should say will obscure the camera view that's the only problem and miss walker does have decent loot for us it's actually stuff you could use so um We'll see what uh, he has. 
Uh, Ash, I'll have to answer your question later. I didn't get that. All right, so um, let me see here. Let me add one thing here. Let me uh, target less here so I can put him in the current target list. And I got everybody else. We don't have the ISOPs. We got Twinbee. Twinbee's in the group. Let me see here. Let's set this up. We're going to get the ball rolling in just a moment. And hey, hey there's somebody. Jirai Walker, known as Circle, from back on Cornav. Welcome aboard, Jirai Walker. It's good to see you. I know you have some high level characters, so uh, you'll be able to join us soon if you'd like to. Anyway, good to see you again. Okay, so uh, we'll just see when uh, Les wants to get things started here, and I'll start popping sloth on you guys. You know, it's actually more than that now. It's a higher level version, but I'll pop that on. The objective here is to stay alive, and just, it's a marathon, basically. And if we can kind of get him over here out of the fog, or just wait till he goes around. We sure do, Circle. I mean, Dry, we miss playing with you. All right, are we ready to charge this thing? Yeah, if you could, is there a way we can get him to come out here out of the fog? Because in the fog, he's going to be hard to, um, to, I mean, to screenshot. But he'll summon, so you don't want to damage him or anything. Okay, yeah, we get him. Yeah, there he comes. Oh, he's nice and slow. Got. Okay, so he has two things. So um, I should load the dispel. Oh, uh, yeah. And those are. Those are his ads. Wow, they're already up. That's strange. No, no, they, they, they disappear like that. They're kind of like uh, swarm pets, I guess you could say. When he gets a little closer, I'll go ahead and dispel him, but um, it's always good to get him out here, out of the fog. And, and yeah, so uh, well, here we go, dispelling. Okay, got him. Very good, you got him with the snare. Let's go ahead and mallow him. Okay, Mallow's up. Let's get him slowed. Got him slowed. Comes a cripple. Good job, guys. We're going to be watching you. Let me put some dots on him. And when those guys go away, that'll be your opportunity to get a screenshot. Okay, I'm going to pop my swarm on him. Got Hornet on. I like Hornet. Swarm, it it's, um, casts really fast. You guys are rocking him. Oh, my. Six million hit points went through a bunch. There's Boiling Steam. That's another one of his uh, buddies. I'll get that. Yeah, and you see his, uh, his ads. They kind of they come up. And the, the real thing here is just to survive. Yeah, Nell, welcome aboard. And he has boiling steam on us. Uh, you guys are just doing a great job. And Zion, welcome aboard out there. Oh, 
Okay, put some juju on him. Miss Walker and uh, just ignore those guys there. I'll keep them nice and slowed. And more juju on him. Miss Walker and his juju. Yeah. And there's more of these guys. We're going to start seeing a lot more of this. Big mobs with big hit points just like this. Sixteen percent left. Time for some finishing blows. That's nice. All right, take him down, guys. Pile those up. Nice. Okay. And he dropped two nice items here. The shard. This is a pretty decent item. And um, also the shroud of mist. Look at these items. We finally got stuff that's pretty good. And um, the damage of magic based spells are increased by 40%. So this is pretty good for, um, you know, cleric, druid, shaman, any caster. And over here, other casters you can get this item here which is uh reduces the cast time of detrimental spells by 15 percent. so these are pretty good items that you can get off him very very nice i'll leave it here you guys go ahead and roll on it uh I'll just set it like that good luck may the best person win anybody see any goodies in there they like Guess not. Okay, so uh, here's the combined DPS out there. We have, uh, what do we have? Per, uh, Perlando, Les, SK, 
Sean Twinby. Uh, that came out really nice. Look at that. Very good. Somebody's pet's crunching away at him. So 11 so... seconds. Less 11 seconds. So you can see some, oh, I see in one second. Okay, I guess we'll just hang out over here. We just need somebody to give us a punt to the next location. Okay, let's see who won something. Meiji won uh, the Shroud of Mist. Congratulations, Meiji. No one is interested in the Frozen Shard of Mist. Okay, it shall rot. have some roamers kind of coming up behind but i think they're going off to the side yeah we're kind of out of the range of the the roamer squad they they're actually kos they'll i think they'll kill you they'll try to fight you i gave you a tl to try or win on less k or less w yeah Oh, we're heading back to POK. Okay. Okay, back to POK then. Everybody back to POK. Okay, back we go. And Don Ward out in YouTube. Thanks for the compliments. Yes, Anguish was a, a good raid. Uh, it was really scary at the end. It was a close call, but yeah, everybody did a great job. We pulled through and won. And some nice loot too, by the way. Okay, off to the next spot, everybody. We're going to have to make a little run up there. I can cast Inviso on us when we land. So stick together, everybody. I usually go over the bridge there. Just waiting for the last round of punts and we'll be good. Ash, take your point. I don't get it. What? Okay. We're going to pop in Vizzle before in. heading up the bridge. Let me see here what we have here. Uh, there's some scene Vizzle here. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah, there's a few. Let me go ahead and get uh, another baby in Viz.
Okay, so good old Yonix has to get his camo up. I think we have everybody camoed. Okay. Hey guys, we're going over the bridge here. We got a little bit of a way so you guys stick together. And there's two ways to go. You can you can uh, kill the guys if there's anything you want, or you can go right over the hill here. And I just keep closing that box there, and uh, or go down the alley here. There's another way, and uh, you can see where we're at. We're gonna go this way. I usually just go over the hill, avoid that guy. And it's pretty nice. Uh, lots and lots of stuff up here. Yeah, we're getting there. Why did oh, that soul was ringing? It's I hit Colossus. Yeah, so right here. So I'll wait over here so you guys can catch up. And see the pad that I'm on right here? You just, all you do is you step on top of it and it zones you in. Who are we doing first? Well, it's up to you guys. Portillo's on the ground floor. Okay, he's, I think he's the harder of them. Yeah, we can do it. Pretty okay. sure we can. Okay. Yeah. All okay. you do yeah. is pull the, uh, the Skrykins away from his area first so that they don't do uh a we silence okay i'm game for anything so yeah this is a tricky place because it has so many levels and there's a lot of uh little ramps you got to go up a lot of these little oh, charlash is up <laughs> there are they should all everything is green light go um so there's gonna be some good stuff out here and it's uh let's see what do we have 10 players in the zone all right okay so uh you guys les and and um perlando whoever you want to go for first it's up to you it doesn't matter to me and thank you brand uh S -S -C. you're right brand we're gonna hit him or Whoever first, we can. If he's on the ground floor, we can get him. He is the tougher of the two. He's got a, also a dog, or what is it? It's not a dog. It's a cat. It's, it's a, a cat. Yeah, it's a kitty cat. The ferocious little kitty cat. So combined, they're gonna give us a workout. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm game for it. Uh, either way, we're gonna we're gonna kill them all. We're gonna try to. See if I've got Do you remember the way back here, Les? Can you find me? There's a few undead. Fall behind me. Just basically straight back. Okay, we just roll oh, to the undeads. Oh, we just have to mow them down. Okay, I guess we're going this way here. Interesting place. Oh, somebody got aggroed, I guess. But they're dead. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm killing the undead here. Mm. Who has that on them? Oh, there's something else, a wisp. No wonder. Yeah. No wonder. Where is it? Oh, there it is. 
What's this? This is a Craglin of the first circle. Is he part of that event for the the orb less? Yeah, he doesn't look like he's he's just walking away. Okay, everyone stay back. I'm gonna try and pull. Ash, you can help me if you want. And try to get these Archmages okay, what without what pulling uh, Portheo. Alright. And welcome aboard, Mr. Kavik, out on YouTube. Yeah, you're right. The devs were on a real sky trip here. Uh, they wanted to give it this open air open look. Air look. Oh, his head. Let's pull him over here. They do definitely gibberish or something like that. Oh, look at all these archmages. Okay, let's set him up. Alright, I am back on the Discord. Sorry about that. Okay, welcome back. What model of Skyrokin are these? Do you know, Les? They're not hooded and they're not... Uh... I can get a cure. Okay, I want to wait until we're done pulling these. Unless it's killing you. Yeah, you'll be okay. It's just... The screech, it just... I think it doesn't do a whole lot. It's not too bad. It's, it's a silence, I think. That's about it. Okay. Okay. It might be a little bit of a debuff. Okay, and so nothing of value to loot? Just don't creep forward, guys. You guys got to stay back. We'll stay back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove his curse. Oh, he's out of range. I tried to remove who a Shane or who? Yeah, Ash. I guess it can't be. I tried and I couldn't remove it. Okay, I would just have to keep it. I, well, we've got a few more to pull, is why I'm saying unless it's doing some bodily, it's gonna kill you or something. Yeah, I would just uh, yeah, whatever yeah. Uh, doesn't kill you just makes you stronger, like they said. Yeah, all of the like firstborn, secondborn, thirdborn, all of those type of mobs, they're all for the same aug. Ah. And Brand VSC says upper levels are screwed. Yeah, you got to figure out where you're going. Where you're going. Nice, nice. All we need is one more, and then we're clear to Portheo. Here they come. Wow, I think that's right. it for around the corner. Yep. We just didn't want to have to deal with those during the fight because they do that screech. They're screechers. Okay, say goodbye to the screechers. So we're going to have separate tanks? Oh, it looks like we're all in the same group, uh, same raid. Well, I mean, is there, you're going to have to tank. I mean, unless less fuel is extremely durable. Nope, I'm not taking, both. taking both. No, yeah. no. Yeah. That's, a, that's suicide. That? Yeah, that's what I thought. You want to tank uh, Orthio and Nightshade separately. Right. They're they're aggro linked. You can't fight them separate. That's right, and they both hit pretty hard. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take uh, Portheo. Um, Shadow, go ahead and take the wolf, and then we kill the wolf first. Is that right? I can't remember. I think I don't know. I've killed Nightshade before Portheo plenty of times. 
Okay, so okay. let's go with that. I'll try to get them both slowed. I'm set up to slow and cripple them. That's going to be the main thing. And, I'll start uh, and, off with uh, the actual weapons. So we'll wait till you guys are ready. Just let us know. Who do you want slowed first, Nightshade or, or Portheo? It doesn't matter. Portheo, uh, uh, who hits harder? I don't know. I heard they Probably hit the same weapons. Then uh, I'll go ahead and take Portheo unslowed. Go ahead and uh, slow the thing, and worst case, I'll burn some discs. Watch out, guys. Yeah, everyone so, guys. move up, so because we got lots of ads. Yeah, you got some uh, trash log here. Uh, trash log here. And if you if uh, mm -hmm. you could use a headphones, do you have a headphones, Perlando? I hear a little feedback. And there he is. A headless man and his cat. Nightshade, let's take a look at them. They're level 80. So we're starting with the toughest first. These two guys are really, really tough. If it was one, that wouldn't be too big a deal, but there's two. And two means two times the damage. And they both have their own little spells that they cast. But thankfully, no death touch or anything like that. But they'll have a couple other tricks up their sleeves. I'm set up to uh, heal, and I'm going to pop Sloth on you guys before. So let me start going around casting Sloth. And make sure we got this. Where's Shadow? There's Shadow on. He's going to get a Sloth also. This will help get the initial slow off. It's going to take me a while to get this slow because, well, as you know, these guys are going to be resistant. They all are. And I'll try to get them slowed. And once we get them slowed, it'll change things a lot. So guys, try to stay back if you're not in the melee team. But also, if you guys up there can get a screenshot, that'd be great. Otherwise, when he's getting close to dead, I'll run up and get a happy little screenshot. So uh, Les is going to be on the man with no head. And Shadow One's going to be on the kitty cat. If it was a real cat, he'd hit real fast. But he's probably not that bad. Uh, they're both bad from what I hear. Yeah. Because I I remember doing this in Era. Yeah, I can imagine. That was must have been a nightmare for Era. This, these guys are just killing people left and right. All right, guys. All right. You guys ready? We're all set. Yep. First guy. I'm going to move in a little bit. Okay. Uh, I want you guys to not. Don't aggro these. Let's get them positioned. Or oh, so much for that. Okay, here we go. Let me get him this on him. Just auto fire him. Like, come on, slow. I'm trying to slow him, Portheo. Resisted. Oh darn. Come Ash, I'm on. trying to move him. Shoot, resisting again. Okay, I've got another. Got one on him. I know you're good, Les. Nightshade has. Uh, okay. Bard harmony on him. Okay, hey, work on the uh, wolf first. Okay, uh, hit Nightshade. Uh, try to slow him. That's weird. Okay, let me see. I got, got him a little slow. Let's cripple him. Okay, I got to get this heal off on people. Uh, don't we need to keep these two guys separated? No, it's just that they need to be tanked by two different people, as far as I remember. Let me get him crippled. I got. Yeah, it doesn't look like the now. cat wants to leave his side. That's right. You know, that's a good cat. You know. Loyal kitty cat. Dot I think if you try to rip him away, he'll reset aggro like they just did. Yeah, no, right. it's the fact yeah. that my runes are drawing his aggro. I have just as much aggro as you do, bro. Okay, sure. dotting him up. What did he just cast on me? This is called Nightshade's Aura. It, it, he keeps casting that on me. Yeah, let's see if we can get it off. Let's see. Let me pop a Radiant Cure. Okay, I cast it clear with Radiant Cure. Going on back on Kitty Cat. Let's see what does our slow look like. He's got balance. 
Let me try to get him hit with Turgers. Turgers has landed. So going back to Portheho, trying to get him crippled. Oh boy. Tough booger. Look at this. Come on, slow him. Jeez. Okay, Portheho is a tough one. You're right. The kitty cat should be killed first. He's a lot easier. Still haven't been able to land a slow. Okay, I'm going to land Tash and stuff on him. Hold up. Okay, great. Trying. There's Tash. There's Harmony. Good. Here we go. Then... Turgers is on. Okay, got Turgers on. Let's hit him with the cripple. Land this cripple and he's in trouble. Nope, no cripple. One more try. Got cripple on him. Okay, dotting him up. Okay, it's on the kitty cat, uh, Twin B. Can you get a radiant cure? Okay, radiant cure. Incoming stand. Uh, I got uh, one second radiant cure. Incoming radiant cure. Radiant cure's hey. landed. Let me get this some more dots on kitty cat. And he just puts it right back on. Yeah, it's just it's one of these fights where at some point you just gotta you gotta live with it. Is it an aura? Yeah, it says an aura, but we can remove it, but then the next ticket comes right back. Well yeah, it'll constantly be casting it. Yeah. It's it happens every tick. Yeah, so just fight through it. Mm-hmm. They're dropping the dots on little kitty cat. He's got a lot of hit points. He's got Many more. Well, I don't know if he has many more, but he has a, a boatload. What is... Kitty Cat was about to go for someone. Yeah, he's going for the one with the cat food. Yep, I got some catnip in my pocket. And he's smelling it. He is aggro bouncing so hard. Like yeah. I'll bounce down to to like thirty percent and then slowly build my way back up to a hundred. And then sometimes I'll just go right back to a hundred. Okay, looks like he is still having running off after Twinby. Twinby, no, come over. Right hey, <laughs> she said he didn't run off. He knows you like cats. Okay, Nighty Shade. Get those dots back on him. Ah, oh, I wonder if he has more hit points than uh, Miss Walker. I'm kind of thinking he does. Redden, who's got a good parse of that when he's dead? Yeah, Which well. One? Nightshade. I got a parse of it. Okay, Nightshade is going to go down. Next to go to this guy here. Let's see how's, how how we doing on Turgers. Three minutes. Got Cripple back on him, dotting him up. Here we go. Let's hope Nightshade doesn't re pop. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be so bad if he's like, yep, I'm dead. But Trust me, he's like on a six hour respawn. If he spawns, respawns on us, we've done something seriously wrong. We've gotten him really mad. All right, guys. Going great here. Way to start it out with the man with no head.
Okay, and just a, a long fight. I can imagine what it was like back in the day when this content was current fighting this guy. I can only imagine. It must have taken a long, long time to kill him. Um, well, I mean, but most of the raids, they were sitting like, what, five, six groups? Yeah. So like half of Orlando? Half <laughs> of Orlando, that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh. Orlando versus the raid. Now, my druid, I remember being like super ecstatic to pick up a piece of loot off of one of these relic dragons. Man, you can imagine what it, it you know, the stuff is good too. Yeah, I ended up having all three pieces from the dragons. I was like so happy. Wow. Me too. Like, I dreamed after this loot, especially for my paladin, the mask off this dude. This guy has a mask? Oh, yeah, he has a really nice healer mask. Because I didn't notice he, I noticed he had no face. He also has a nice weapon, if I remember correctly. Yeah, let's see that weapon. Cough it up, dude. Uh, Social Experiment Gaming. Uh, welcome aboard. He says, Am, are you muted? What do you mean by that, Social Experiment Gaming? Uh, we just didn't, there's not a lot of activity out in the chat at the moment. So we're just waiting for things to, usually picks up after a while. And what do we have? We have the Turgers, got 19 seconds, got to get it back on them before it pops off. Good work. It landed like a champ. And we have Cripple back on you. This should last us a fight. You resisted. Uh, there's Bard debuff. Okay, great. Be Cripple. He's, he's a toughie. Time for some more dots for him. It'll land sooner or later. What was that mob we killed in the in that instance? We had to like click all the crystals. Click, click the all crystal. the crystals. That he kept silencing you and you had to click the red crystal. Oh yeah, that was Deoshin the Firstborn. Yeah, no, he's hard. Oh, yeah, I read about is. that. Oh, that that and then the loot's not even worth it. I think. Wouldn't say that. There's some good loot there. The, the AUG at least is really nice. Okay. I looked at the loot and it looked like it was, you know, the standard 320 hit point type of loot. But hey, you know, there's always a good, sometimes the AUG uh, makes it all worthwhile. I think Les has it, wow. don't you? Which one? Oh, I don't remember what the, the name of it was. I just know that someone got it. And out there in YouTube, Social Experiment Gaming says, one comment gets removed, got removed. Yeah, sometimes, depending on what your comment is, it matches a filter and it'll get removed. But you can just reword it again uh, if it's If a it good contains comment. web links, a lot of times that'll flag it right away. Yeah, Absolutely. Down he goes. Okay, so oh wow, look Ooh, at this. You dropped Ooh, the my. gate though. Oh wow, look at this. The agate of transfusion. This is a nice, nice aug type eight, uh, black orb. Okay, so he has a black orb. Nightshade dropped. Uh, what is this? Looks like his teeth, but or claws. And then so the is orb. that the mask that you're talking about, Palando? Mm -hmm. Sixty percent heal. Focus up to seventy-two. Whoa, look at that. 335 hit points. That's a good item, guys. Now, Vampiric Health, what other item has that? I'll show you another item I used to wear that had it. Um, I still kept it because I, I liked it. It's Vampiric Health is this one here. I got this other one from Valix Cape of Flight. You can also get it from him. Same kind of stats. And believe me, this makes a huge difference. It's a very similar kind of thing here as the mask. Only difference being the mask has three mana regen. Valix Cape has two, but Valix has four heroic wisdom on it. So 
if you want to get one, you can you can pick. You can kill Valak, who's by himself on a little island in Theater of Blood, or you can kill this guy and get a mask. And maybe the mask will look cool too, but uh, look at what it has. They both have vampiric health. Very nice. But in addition to that, this AUG is really, really sweet for you guys that have slot eights. Let's see what else is in the loot table. Nothing else, just some ornaments. So go ahead, guys. Um, you know, auto ask, roll for it. Uh, let's see who the winner is if you guys want any of this. Um, it is nice, but one thing to keep in mind, not to spoil it too much. If you get TBM gear, you can also get... Um, now, this is duration. It doesn't affect the healing, but you can get like the necklace that is similar to this. It has undying solace. It increases the potency healing spells by 52 to 73 percent up to level 110, but 60 percent is still better. So this price starts at 52 percent, but you can see the difference between a TBM group geared and this. I still think the Valak's Cape of, of Flight or the mask you get here are really, really nice items. And guys, great work. But we're not done yet. So hang in there, guys. So real quick, the uh, Fragment of Portheo Shadow, is that the progression piece? For Relic? For, uh... Not Relic. Yeah, that is probably... Uh, maybe... Someone's X -traver Traveler? Yeah, that's probably one of the progression pieces. That's how it usually goes, I think. I want one, then. Help yourselves. Uh, let's take a look at the other loot that people have here. Um, Perlando put up the Gorget of Cycles. This is also found in TBM. This is a very, very nice item. And you can take a look at uh, what it does. It also has Undying Solace 2, which is even better than the one I have. Because the one I have is not off a named mob but his he got off a name mob or a chest or something from one of the missions so it's very nice they'll give you a couple three more percent but look at this all the way up to 110 you get it you never have to worry about it but keep in mind there's some other nice effects too he's got heal 11 he probably got that from one of these um yeah one of these augs you put in and nice thing about tbm gears you just change the augs you keep the piece it stays with you for life. It's very, very nice. Uh, we also have Hatchet's Rusted Brass Locket. Now this, everybody, is nice. But also, Hatchet the Torturer, I believe this comes off of, this is from LSSK, is one of the... Yes, yeah, so definitely a fun encounter to do. Yet Something we probably are going to do here soon, I think. That's right, and the hope is, is that by Friday, if we're all set to go, we will give it a shot. If everything works out right, we will do uh, the Demiplane, uh, Dreadspire Keep, which is going to be uh, really nice. There's a lot of uh, raids in there. And then there's even that guy, Master Vool or whatever. I forgot what he is. And um, But lots and lots and lots of good stuff up there. But the stuff gets harder and harder. We'll see if we survive it. It's going to be a crazy fight, I tell you. So we're just... So up. Go ahead. The Fragment of Portheo Shadow Staff is part of Deoshin, like getting the Deoshin raid, or wait, yeah, Deoshin's chamber and access to the Death Knoll Tower of Dissonance. Yeah, now fortunately for us, we can get into Death Knoll Tower of Dissonance, which is nice because you can farm that Ghost Rider uh, mount, which is really, really nice to get. It's nice how it's one raid that at 105, depending on your class, you can solo that raid. And Fragment of Portholios. Uh, anyone need a Mallow rank 2, Shaman 77? I might have that. Thank you so much. Um, so if no one wants what's, what's in that loot, drop it all corpse so that that other orb can be looted thank you there, there is two black orb of Portheo the second here what was that for it's for black orb of the skyrkin some progression based uh og
Uh, I see it. Somebody said it's for uh, the, uh, the raids. Okay, 65 plus. And good job, everybody. Great work there. Uh, these guys are really tough. Um, so we're going to romp on the other guys, which should be no problem. But they do have other things. Some of them, I can't remember, they have... I won't spoil it, but some of them have a little, few little surprises in store for them. So things could get interesting. So up to the elevator. I'll follow you guys. Yeah, I'll be behind you guys. I've just got a few more. Okay, let's go follow Les over here, everybody. Go around. The oh, there's a bad guy here. Gonna be a dead bone walker soon. Ooh, I just got in combat. 95% is good enough. Okay, he's dead. I got trash mobs everywhere. So you wanted a parse of... Uh... Nightshade, Nightshade yes, alone, or yeah. just, okay. We got this little guy here. His damage out or our damage in, out on him? Uh, just our damage on him, sparse, yeah, that. Okay, let's take a look at it. Nightshade, there it is. Vex guy, let's kill him dead okay so let's see what we have here uh not bad wow pretty good twin b rocking it beating out um yonix good old yonix all right go twin b twin b's back on near the top of the charts again fall behind me okay Everybody on the platform and don't fall off. Okay, we're on the middle platform. Okay. If you've got levitate, now's a good time to have it on. Because if you do fall, you don't go splat. Yeah, let's see if I have enough spots here. Let me uh, drop something. Because also, if you've got levitate, you don't have to fight all the way to the dragon we can just like hover right across okay so hold on a second let me get a uh, flight of falcons up on you guys i'll get it up okay so everybody make sure you got uh falcons up or something flight of falcons so you can levitate what do we have here i got i got flight of falcons let me check little not a baby she's got flight of falcons looks like everybody's got it careful now I don't. Okay. Uh -oh. Let me come up there and I'll get you. That's an impressive looking dragon. I know. These are my cool. These are probably the coolest looking dragons that I've ever seen up to this point. I still kind of like Vish. How'd you guys get over there? You just flew over, right? Yeah. I hadn't seen Vish at this point. Well, I went back up the ramp a few feet to get a little altitude and then came across. Oh, that's smart. Let me make sure Twinbee's got uh, levitation on. You do have perfect levitation. Make sure you have your page up going so that you can float across. You have to make sure you get over this thing here. And good idea. Thanks for the tip, Shadow One. Get I a need levitate. Bit. Okay, uh, Ash, I'll get you real quick. Where are you? Okay. There's Ash popping a uh, flight of Spirit of Eagle on you. Oh, it didn't. It's, oh, you got to take off your tall attack. Okay. Or gotcha. you can just do regular perfected levitation. Yeah, yeah. Rip 300 attack. Yeah, that's a problem. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have to perfect levitate then. Glad he doesn't have a knockback. And this is him, uh, Shardran, and he is uh, level 80. 
Okay, so before we engage him, I'm going to go ahead and put um, I'm going to put sloth on you guys here. Let's start with the sloth. Everybody gets a dose of sloths to get that initial slow off. And uh, the biz gamer, welcome aboard. Let's see what the biz gamer. What server are you on? We're on out on a test server. Welcome aboard tonight. Uh, let me get everybody. You should have sloth and get the pet. Mr. Kavit, this it's not just any bard. He's a super bard. <laughs> so don't be fooled by just the bard. Oh, uh, how come I'm going into this? Is this like a soup or something? I took a nose down. It's, it's, yeah, it's got a lip. Okay, good. I won't fall through it. Let's see. Let's go up. Okay. Get All it right. Down. Be ready for anything. We're going to go ahead and go in 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, Shadow, Porth, uh, Porlando, and myself, make sure we're first in on Rampage. If you're a caster, don't go in first. Going in three seconds. Okay, sounds good. We'll wait for the queue. Game on, guys. Good job. Wow, he's big. Come on. Cash land already. I gotta get closer so I can hit him with uh, Malice. Malice is casting. It has landed. Let's get a slow on him. Come on. And he was slowed. No problem. Okay, going with bigger slow. And resisted Turger is gonna try to hit him with a cripple. He's big. Resisted that. Gonna try to keep slowing him. Cashing. Good. Opening fire on him. Balance is still on. Got it. For some reason, he's very resistant. Uh, resistant turgers again. Try getting underneath him. Oh yeah, belly caster, huh? Well, maybe not, but I didn't think they were. But yeah, maybe. I don't think he is because I was able to get balance on him from a distance. Get out I here. see him resisting the lassitude on me. Yeah, but he I got balance on him, which is for some reason I can get balance on, but Turgers I can't get on him. Because he's resisting Turgers and only cripple him, that'd be nice. He's a magic dragon. Okay, wow, he's really mitigating a lot of the stuff. Yeah, all three of these dragons in this zone are each immune to one resist. Yeah, I think this one's immune to fire or something. See if you can get... Oh, we don't have baddie bat tonight, do we? No baddie bat. She's changed into a ranger. I okay. needed fire. We could really use scent on, like, everything going forward. Circle of power running. Okay, landing Summer's Dew on him, which is fire, so keep peppering him with that. Ash. Oh, dude, you're like way too far out to get a uh, circle of power on us if you could come in a little bit. Not, uh, that will work too. His hitbox is like right on the edge of where it, like, it ends. Screw it, whatever. Here, come in at the side. Okay, got some good screenshots. A little Got bit closer. On him. Just trying to land the Turgers again. Is this the Turgers? But at least I got balance on him. Man, we've got some good healers here. You got no deaths, no dens. Keeping the boat afloat. You never have to worry when you got that guy. He's done it all. Almost all. Good. Finally, we have Turgers on him. Game over for you, big dragon. Yes, looks like I'm hitting him pretty good with just about everything.
Mr. Kavit says, how many times you killed this dragon? First time, Mr. Kavit. And Osvaldo, welcome up. Thank you. And uh, your mum, Gaylor, them graphics though. Yep. And Beef Knight, welcome aboard, guys. Sorry I didn't see you earlier. We're just right in the middle of starting with this guy. Down he goes. And what does he have? He has horns and a boot. Look at this. Uh, maybe Meiji is interested in this. That's a type 8 type 8 slot here and it's just your nice little caster boots for heroic intelligence for heroic uh, wisdom and we have these horns here which are probably part of the progression and quest items so nice work everybody uh, really good let's see who wins this stuff good work and I don't know if I guess this is a parse from earlier and Twinbee's really rocking some good DPS. I got to hand it to her. Um, very, very nice. Um, edging out. I guess that's the old parse or new parse. There you go. Okay, here's a new one. So um, let's see. We have Ashan in second place. That's to be expected at less. And then Twinbee at 1302. Yonix at 1149. And Meiji coming in there. Very nice, everybody. But Twinby, I think these numbers are higher than your Necro. She, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> she says she likes it. She misses the pet, though. She said, can which we get one? the... Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, which one are we doing next? Are we doing Kasukit or Asherback? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, whatever is next easiest to get to. Um... Kasukit, probably. I mean, they're kind of both easy to get to right now. Uh, let's do the one that's up this ramp. Okay, up the ramp, guys. Near the headless little dude here. He's just an attendant, huh? Oh. Uh, no one wants the boots. I wonder why. Which, uh, which ramp did you go up? I didn't go up a ramp, but there's only one ramp going to it. There's ramp over here, which goes up to both of them. Uh, okay, fair enough. My mistake. Okay, let's All go right, going way. south. Head the south, ramp guys. going south. Take your time, guys. Whatever you do, do not fall off here. If you fall off, and if Meiji falls off, there will be nobody to get you back. Yeah, so you can either go to seek it right from here or float over to Ash and Bag. Yeah, this is where I was going to go. Just go float over to Ash and Bag. So everybody's got Lev. Just uh, float over to here, clear that island, and then go to Ash and Bag because we're going to get ads from this island. So everybody come over to this little island here. So who's going to... We need to split the raid into two parties, don't we? Why? To kill the ads on this island, don't we? Do they come? Do they come over and beat us? Uh, if you're a high level and kill them in three seconds, no. But if you're gonna do it the way we're gonna do it correctly, yes. Um, I don't know. I've never had problems with ads from here. Oh, okay. Now yeah, we can do it without it. Yeah, there's gonna get... be the eggs, right? Yeah, oh, there's no. some. I thought there was something to do with this island when we killed him. Yeah, there is. It's um, uh, not to spoil it too much, but what happens up here is there should be some eggs. I mean, this expansion pack has the uh, the egg feature, you know, like with Vish. And so what happens is I think some eggs spawn up here. Um, you don't need one hand to blunt, so Ash doesn't have to be the egg cracker. But um, you got to kill the eggs. And uh, let me just answer the questions out there. Uh, Don Ward says, Didn't, did Twin B flex as she likes that? And Jordan Viking, what server is this? We're on the test server. Uh, and then uh, Atlas Revenant said, Dead Man Floating. That's right. And this is a progression server. We're doing it. I mean, it's a regular live server, but we're doing it progression raid style. That's the only way you can do it to really uh, relive the excitement and the challenge that once was because everybody's at 105 now 
we decided to lock all our levels at 76 and we'll find out, you know, increase it a level or two as the difficulty ramps up. So uh, it is a, a progression style um, thing. And there is a little guy over there. What's that animated flame spout? Level 72. Yeah, in the old days, they had to have a group up here uh, crushing eggs. Because if you don't crush the eggs, the ads come down there. But, you know, maybe the, we can handle it. I'm not sure. We could. It's up to less. If we want to keep a group up here, we can keep one up here. But if I stay up here, somebody uh, we need somebody to do a, a good screenshot, or maybe I can hang over the edge. Shadow, you want to be up here? Or you want to tank the big dragon? Oh, it doesn't matter to me. I haven't done this one before. You want to be All the right. egg cracker? Well, I'd love to tank the dragon because I've always been the group that was up here. <laughs> oh, oh, so you know what this okay. is? Okay, be my guest. <laughs> Guys, before we start, what's funny about it is I had this discussion a long time ago back on Agnar before we were doing... Um, what was it permafrost and and there was that's before i had discord and we're setting up different groups and then people would then i realized how hard it is to set up you have to have good groups people would complain to me and say uh don't send me that one and then somebody said why did you send me the little kids table it was so funny so this this is probably was the little kids table back then and the big boys all got to go down there but it doesn't matter to me as long as we get a good screenshot and the viewers can see what's going on uh it is fantastic that's for sure and uh, out there beef knight has been doing progression on cornav we were on cornav uh, before still are there so um yeah i mean it, i can leave uh not a baby up here to uh help out with that but before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and put sloth on you guys we need we, sh we could keep one group up here if you do find that it's too easy up here then we can just leave like i don't know like just one the cleric to fight him off or something but um, well, so, but, um so eggs are going to spawn up in this ring i think that's what it is i i hope i'm not imagining the vish encounter because that one i know there's eggs for sure all i remember again this has been years and years ago is there were there's a group up top here that kills something and there's a group down there that kills the dragon uh short of that i don't know what happens yeah because if you don't kill them they'll come around down to the bottom so and they bring everything with them yeah yeah yes. like you see the guys on the ramp there they'll bring those guys with them so you actually have to kill more i think we should just rush him yolo it because i got 19 minutes before my haste wears off <laughs> okay okay well uh okay there he goes the team Okay, okay so, tanks running behind me. Okay, Shadow One, you staying up here or are you coming down there? I'll stay up here. Okay, then I'm going to save us, send, uh, keep uh, Not a Baby back. Oh, it says my target's too far away. I got to bring Yonix out there to fire on him. He's got to come down. Well, and if you guys figure out that the ads aren't doing anything, you can always just jump down. Yeah, you can come down to the big kids' table. Somehow, I think making the raid not wipe is still part of the big table. Well. Let me get Ashen back, uh, get a Tosh on Oh, he's too far. Far is slowed. Now, am I up on this level on the outer ring or down there with the dragon's ring? You stay, uh, stay up here for a little bit. I'm going to get down there and slow him. And... Um, I'm too far away. Okay, there we go. Coming with uh, Mallow. Okay, good. We got a lassitude, a uh, requiem time, whatever that is. That's my slow. Okay, and he resisted Discord. That's nice. Let's get Turgers on him. Partially successful. Okay. And we got this on him. Let's dot him up. Okay, so Shadow One, you communicate up there. If you're getting trouble, let us know. Okay, yeah, there's they're finally starting to spawn up here a little bit. Okay, great. I'll turn around and not a baby will back you up. Can anyone confirm if this guy's uh, fire immune? I think I hit some fire spells on him. Oh, see these eggs here? Go ahead and start killing them, guys. Good egg. Uh, um, so Meiji and Shadow One run around and kill the eggs up top. If you're up top, uh, Twimby, you should come down here, add DP. Well, Dashing Back's almost going to bite the dust, so 
Um, either way, you can kill eggs up there or you can kill this big guy. Let me get him. Is it 60%? I better get a screenshot before it's too late. Wow, he's just sitting there. He looks pretty dormant. Animations fall off further than the actual model effects. Yeah, he's... Good job. Okay, here we got an ad up top. Good job. Okay, I'll help with uh, nuking these egg sacks here. Okay, I see these little egg pods. So you see a little egg pod, I'll get uh, not a baby to nuke them too. They don't have a lot of hit points. Oh, she's, they're resisting. Wow. Okay, go get him, Shadow One. He's okay, resisting. I can one-shot him. Postal Bellow. The... Yeah. Yeah, they're not always targetable. Yeah, you, some of them, uh, you got to make sure you get their... Some are, like, they take a while to spawn. Oh, resisting. Yeah, I'm able to land fire on him, no problem. And I have a hornet swarm landed. Too bad his color matches with the lava. Good work up there, guys. Good old Ashenback is almost dead. Yep, hitting with everything. Some fire he does resist, like I have some that hit for 3,000 and some that uh, hit only for 95. Okay, so let's see what he dropped. He dropped a essence and here it is. It's uh, a, whoops, how come this is good? Made you do and here it is guys, Druid, Monk, Beast Lord. This is a, um, increases a ben uh, the duration of beneficial spells. This is nice. By 35%. That was the bracer that I was like, used all my DKP on years ago. I can see why. Because look at how, usually when you look at stuff that increases the duration of beneficial spells, like let's take a look at mine. You can compare that this is a great item back in the day. Let's see if I have something. Damage, uh, damage. Let's see, where's mine? Um. Reduce the cast time. Let me find something comparable. It'll give you guys an idea of how good this uh, item was for back in the day. Let's see what do we have. Okay, look at this. Here is something called the Bright Sapphire Cloak. It's a TBM item. Oh, we got a warden somewhere? I'm clearing. Okay, so if you take a look at this guys out there, and Victor Caballero, welcome aboard. This is... Uh, this is uh, Relic, it's part of the Prophecy of Rowe. So take a look at the duration. Increases the duration of beneficial spells by only 26%. That's what my TBM item does, and it's up to level 110. But this item here increases it by 35%. That is huge if you have buffs that you want to put on somebody. It's going to last, that's whole 9% more, and that is huge. So back in the day when this came out, just imagine you got something like this and uh, it's just going to make a gigantic difference for any kind of buffs you put on them. Uh, I think beneficial meaning damage shields and things like that. So it's even better for this uh, focus effect than my thing that came from TBM. Of course, this isn't a raid level TBM item, but in general, the TBM stuff that I have here is better than most raid items, but not when it comes to this. 
because this baby is something you want. I mean, and it's a bracer. You could have one bracer regular and one of these. So sweet item for Druid, I would say. Beast Lord too, probably. Nice work, guys. Great item. And yet, nobody wants it. Yeah, I know. That's weird. Nobody wants it. All right, come to the south ramp and take a right up that ramp. Okay, one moment. And you'll want Lev. South ramp. Okay, here we go. We're heading across. Oh, the soup here. Yep. The lava. And we go this way here. We're going to just levitate right across to him. We're going to stay on the outside ring, wait till everybody's there, and we're going to charge once we're all there. Okay, let's see where... We're... Oh, we got some guy here. Okay, we'll just kill him. And Mr. Kavit says, let the eggs spawn and kill them all day. Lots of AAs. That's right. And and Big Duffy, this is not the latest. Uh, oh, there's the other guy. Okay, so you're going to get ready to lev across here. I need 15 seconds for one of my things to be up. Take your time. And this is the next guy. This guy, uh, C-Cut, he looks like just like uh, Fadidar, but bigger. If you let Fadidar grow and eat a lot of food, he'd get this big. So he's a big boy, and uh, let's see, what do we have here? Okay, everybody's here, it looks like. Hey guys, I see Nightshade on track. Is that weird? Just wanted to mention. Let me get less with um, a sloth. But he didn't drop anything good. I can't remember, but... Just the raid progression pieces. Yeah, because if he dropped good stuff, you, people could farm him. It looks like he's a regular spawn. Okay, going in 10 seconds. Okay, Sloth is up. Tanks in first. Okie dokie. I get close enough to get this on him, casting Malo. And nice, it's always good to see Lassitude land on him. Always good. Opening fire. This guy's not resisting anything yet. Yeah, he's he's got a death wish. And you're right, lowest magic resistance in the book. What's his trick? Turgers landed on him, but he did resist Cripple. Now it landed on him. Everything landed. This must be the guy you kill first. But we like a challenge. We go for the toughest. <laughs> that and that we didn't know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're like, yep. But everybody out there, stay tuned because Friday, got some good stuff coming. Friday's a big night out here. Okay, let's get some more dots on him. I'm going to have to get a screenshot before we kill him. Okay, and Yonix is trying to climb the DPS charts. This time he's working hard. Competing with Twinby. I turned to old gas. <laughs> Everybody's stomping on the pedal. 
Yeah, when it all lands on this guy, you might as well. Yep, and let's see, he's still got slow on him. He's going to have a very bad day with all that slow. And Mr. Kavit, you might have seen us do this in Dragons, Dragons, Dragons. That was probably when. Uh, next month a year ago. That's right, it was. Yeah, do they run Dragons, 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 and Giants, Giants, Giants in November? But you guys are getting to see it here first, instead of waiting all that time. Back to stomping on the gas pedal. Come on, stomp on him. Oh, there's an ad. Okay, there's an yeah. ad. Okay, you got wait. him. Yeah, good job. Wow, man. His little helper came out to help him. Wow, that was that was fixed his wagon there. Okay, so Ashenback, nobody wanted the lovely bracer, but now here is, whoops, he has a nice, another druid item. Wow, look at that. That's another one for. Uh, yep, and that was the other item I was I, I bid on. <laughs> Whoa, I can see why these. You have both of these, and you're in great shape. Get a nice AUG and you're really good. So here we go. Uh, Twinby is, Yonex has taken the lead over Twinby. 1713 to 1406, a battle for the bottom. All right, Twinby, you gotta hit that uh, Summer's Dew a little faster. And keep those dots, keep the dot on them, keep cranking away at them. And back at the top, we have once again, Perlando doing some crazy DPS followed by Ashan. Less SK and Yonix coming in the third, followed by Twinbee and Shadow One doing a great job tanking off the, the stuff, and Meiji doing a great job. All you guys, if you're not on the top of the list, that's okay. You guys are my heroes. You're doing great. Okay, let's see what we have left on here. Um, oh my gosh, did we just wipe them all out? We just did, I think. That's all three. That's all three plus the the big boy okay so um let me take a look at the list here we can do one of two things if you want to gate back to plane of knowledge or, or or wait wait here first let me check the list let's just see if we can if there's anything left we can take a vote on it could do vish he is on the list no I, we might need a little more for vish i think because that that one i think no nah, we, we can do it we got two tanks. We or we got three tanks. Well, technically we have four, but we got three tanks that we need. We got two different healers, and we got people that can run around. Hmm. Okay. Let, let me see one sec here. Hmm. Why don't we do? Because Vish is a big one. That is really really big. That is kind of like one of the. It might be too early to do Vish in the week. I think. I got an idea. Hang on a second, uh, Les. Um, I know which one here. Hold, hold on, guys. I'm going to send him a tell. Okay, so um, we can uh, do this here. That's what I'm thinking. Um, what do you think, uh, Les? Yeah, we could totally do those. We have to make sure our healers are on point and uh, doing fast heals. We might, just might, have to drop out of raid to get a, a merc for heals. But uh, yeah, let's do it. I think it'll be a good challenge for uh, Nodens. He's had a pretty easy night. So let's, uh, fastest way there is play, go back to plane of knowledge and then take the stone. Do you think that's fast? Freeport, yeah, it's yeah. Still Freeport. Okay, back to Freeport, everybody gate back. And we're gonna clear him off. And we can buff, rebuff, uh, so Perlando can get rebuffed. 
And this is going to be quite the challenge for uh, our two healers here. We're going to see if we can do it. We're going to try to end the night on what I think is probably going to be one of the more challenging uh, encounters, one or two. So, Did you say you got a free port? Uh, yeah, not yet. Uh, rebuff first. Would be advisable. Yeah, I have um, only six minutes left on the haste, so I, I know you guys may be a little low on it. Uh, I'm going to run Yonix back over. This is going to be hard, guys, but uh, I think we can do it because we have good teamwork. Vish, I think you're right. We could do him, but we'll save him kind of like for later in the week with uh, for all the good highlights and stuff. And we can get him on an instance too. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So does anybody do we need do I need to load in the enchanter to rebuff us? The enchanter's already here waiting. Okay. Great. Good job. I'm gonna bring not a baby over. So this is it, guys. The, the final one, maybe two encounters of the night. They're gonna be really tough, and we always like to finish the night with something that can wipe us. And this is maybe one that can wipe us. But I don't know. You know, we did Portholio, Portheo, and his little cat. So, you know, I'm really skilled at portfolio. <laughs> Portho portfolio yeah looks like portfolio but this one's gonna get interesting um we can yeah he's a hard hitter he's really hard and then the other guy the you know guy the the little guy he's not he's no slouch either he's got a lot of ads so you're gonna see some excitement so Nodens, hang on there, but I know you can do it. You haven't been tested tonight yet. Now nah, I think I went through maybe twenty percent tops. Yeah, this I will. As long as he stays close to me, I can tap and give him a little bit of mana throughout the. It's going to be a long fight too. Are you saying Nodens might have to put his beer down for this one? <laughs> maybe. Tequila, man. Got to stay with the tequila. Well, good thing we got not a baby, and I've got my wimpy heal, and the rangers can like uh, spam heal like nuts and um, toss one heal here or there. But it's gonna be uh, exciting. You want to do regen, please? Oh, Are me? You did. Oh, less. Okay. Incoming a second time. I don't suppose you have Callie around for uh, Calatech. I'll bring her real quick. Okay, and while you guys bring him over, I'm going to talk a little bit about what is upcoming. Since we're finishing off uh, stage 13 and moving into stage 14, look forward to this and this team, what we're going to do next uh, few days. We've got uh, the Demiplane, and that means we're going to be hitting up... Um, Hatchet the Torturer, Wailing Sisters, Granite Claw, and Red, Flame, Red Fang. We're going to be taking those guys down, or trying to. Also on the list, we still need to do a revenge uh, encounter with Pyre Lord Narsikin. We're going to try him. The first time we tried him, we ran out of mana. We didn't have enough mana to stay alive. We got him to about 50%. He's tough. We also have on the list Avalanche. Avalanche, that's a tough encounter uh, also. There's Ghost, Snowtail. We have killed uh, Portheo, the secondborn. He's in a stage 14. We finish off Overlord Matamura. And of course, in stage 14, the one and only zone that I think is going to be really a challenge is Theater of Blood. We've got Anastasia, the Thought Drinker. A lot of tough ones like that. Anastasia is really, in my opinion, very hard, but not as hard as some of the stuff you will see. There's also stuff like in Icefall Glaciers, like Chief uh, Ugrak and the Steps. You're going to just get to see all the raid mobs out there. And of course, Sendai, the Hive Queen, will be finishing off Stage 13. But uh, it's going to get interesting. And after we get through that, oh, we're going to be heading up to Death Kneel. And there'll be a little Valdenholm. Valdenholm's going to be great. 
And then finally, stage 16, we're going to be hitting up Ashen Gate. And there's going to be a lot of stuff. There's going to be Frost Crypt, Hills of Shade, uh, Looping Plains. These are going to be some really tough raid bosses. We may have to raise the level cap by then. I don't know. I'll ask you guys what you think. Just because nope. you think we can still do uh, stuff in uh, Ashen Gate at 76? It was all geared towards level 75. Wow. What? Yeah, but that's with a full rate of like, I'd say at least 79 for that. I, you know, I see we'll one see. on there called Whirlim, and I, you know, it, even with my high level group Ooh, to kill him. Whirlim. Yeah, Whirlim. That's fun. Yeah, that, that, that's something I'm like, how are we going to get that guy? You know, he's, I think he's like 80 ish or something like that, but, and even scoring is hard too. So they're like, oh. I would rather. I would rather barely lose than to like own the buy, own the fight, you know? Okay, I like that attitude. I like that. Let's go with that and we'll go this way. We'll go as far as we can at 76 when we start like running to stuff that we can't even take to 50%, you know? Then that's a signal that we got to clear yeah. off the rest of the stuff and then move up. I like that. That's a good challenge cuz I yeah, I you know I do wonder if uh, Wireless if we could take him or Scorn. I don't know. I mean, Scorn maybe even harder. And then they got, of course, in Fortress Mechanicos, there's Octa the Collector. Um, well, it'd be quite the accomplishment we kill Octa at this level. It's just uh, some crazy stuff out there. And uh, hello out there, Dustin, Dark Elf, Dustin, and Julie uh, Toyn. Welcome aboard. Okay, so that's what's coming up, guys, this week. There will be one big giant raid on Friday. It's maybe it's going to be Vish, maybe it's going to be the Sendai Queen, or maybe we're going to be in the demi plane. It all depends on how we do here. If we get totally stuck and wiped out, well, we're going to have to keep clearing this stuff and working on it. But if we wipe the stuff out and clear it progression style, then we earn the right to go on to the next. I got to get my blockers for that. Okay. Uh, so we're ready to go. I I yeah. did okay. most of what we needed to do. Okay, guys, uh, follow along. Heading to Freeport. That's right. Yeah. All your blockers for Demiplane come from your blood raids, the Sendai and Shira and, and that set. Did you get any of those fights with us? Nope. He wasn't with us at the time. Yeah, he didn't get anything from there. Well, if if the majority of the raid has all their blockers, then you're good. Because Hatchet and Red Fang both drop a full back flag that'll wipe that it's effectively all of your blockers. Well that's great. that's good because Red Fang's he, I actually think he was pretty easy to kill. Red Fang's not bad. So you first do this as a then you do Red Fang. And then you can go up and take your pick between um, Sisters and Hatchet. Yeah, take Sisters. Um, you know, yeah, but now I know how you can... Uh, uh, Perland was telling me how you can get um, Zerk, uh, uh, Granite Claw. And I was like, well, okay, if I knew that, <laughs> that'd be then he'd be the easiest one. Okay, we're heading over to East Freeport. We're going to, um, you know what that means. Maybe we're going to, okay, keep going straight. Sucks to be people who uh, had too many buffs for Silos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we're waiting for uh, Batty Bat here. You may remember Boomba the Big, and no, we're not going to buy anything from Boomba tonight. But uh, <laughs> follow me, everybody. And this is the Freeport that you probably don't want to remember because the first Freeport had so much charm. It was beautiful. And uh, yeah, what happened? Was well, anybody yeah, concerned about I hate about this version. It? What's that, Shadow One? Is anyone concerned about the faction here in Freeport? Because it looks like we someone's got a lot of ads. Oh, who's somebody's? Oh, gosh. Everybody okay out there? Oh wow, those could rip someone apart. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, who who's are y'all okay? 
What's the maximum number of people you can bring into the Arena Champions badge thing? I think that was only six, sadly. Because yeah, that is a that great a one. Group. Where did I go the wrong way? Oh, I did. Sorry. Let me go back out this way. It's this way here. Okay, follow me here. Yep, they put signs here because people were getting lost. Okay, just go in that door hole. Oh gosh, yeah. Getting to the new East Freeport is a challenge in itself. You know, I felt the regular Freeport didn't need a, a remake or anything. I, I don't know why they why they changed it. I guess I don't know. Okay, so now where we're gonna go, let me get the other characters involved here. We're gonna go once you're in East Freeport, you go to the north. Uh, Northish. The arena. Yeah, that's right. So where am I here? Oh, I'm over here. I usually go this way here. You follow me? No, you should be okay. East Freeport's kind of like the the ghetto side of town, as it was known. And so it's okay if you go into this area. I wasn't going to knock your rune off, but... Uh... I'm going How's that sailors working for you? Uh, works pretty fine. Even when you're snared. Uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, this is the way. Creep in this little hole. In one hole, out another. And of course, there's friendly animosity and friendly fire going on as we travel through the arena. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> These guys here. Okay, go down this way. I'm the I'm the the uh, speed of a regular ice train. <laughs> that looks so funny. <laughs> Ash, what you do to piss them off, dude? Zone, zone quickly, dude. Yeah, click on the um the thingy there. Um, the, yeah, that's it. See this statue here? You want to click on this statue here, this lady here. So click on that. Hey, Noden, uh, Perlando's going to need a Radiant Cure. Uh, all right. <laughs> I've only got 52 seconds left on it. Yeah, and Serratus out there in YouTube, yeah, I um, I really miss the old Freeport. I really do. Um, the new one, it, it has an interesting look, but gosh, I mean, the, the old one was really, really nice. You, you got I'd see like that. to see... I'd like to see even like a monster mission that comes back and reutilizes it, you know? Yeah, they got to get the old Freeport back. It's like, it just like I always say, it had so much charm to it. Oh, come on, not a baby, get in there. Waiting for not a baby. Okay, so uh, let's see what we have out here. And uh, you're just waiting for not a baby. So, um, yep, we have. Uh, I won't announce it, but you guys will find out really soon. So we can take the, the either the there actually is a couple here, I believe. Um, eh, let me look at the map. Actually, the guy one of them is closer than the other. I think Crag Maker guy. Let me see here. We should do the easier ones first. Uh, let me quickly check the track again. Okay, uh, where is it? Let me set it up the other way. Okay, let me look on the map to see where, uh, where is Cragmaker? Oh, I see some of them roam around. Now, I think I remember the guy we're going to hit first is the Cragmaker guy, Barthol. Barthol. And let me check where he is. Ahead and to the mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. And uh, Oathmir there is straight ahead. So it is. Wow. That he's I'm going to start running around the left side of the wall here. There's very few ads on the very outside. So okay, yeah, let's I go will around be outside. going clockwise around the outside. Trailer park girls go around the outside. <laughs> Stay together, guys. Dang it, you beat me to it. 
the zone we're in is called the devastation it's a great zone uh, the thing about it is there's a lot of faction wars going on in here and um, what's neat about that is you can fight whichever faction I think and that changes the guards in uh, the next thing uh, in, no, it totally in, makes the whole zone like you can the whole zone repops and certain mobs are fighting each other automatically and at some point the zone will switch to more of one mob than another mob and that means who, what names will, will and won't be up and it's really kind of confusing and complicated and fun. Yeah, yeah. So if, you, if you're tired of seeing one kind of mob, you can reset the zone by killing the other kind. Follow Shade 2.0. Hello. Yes, yes, that's right. That's what it is. Okay, guys, we're looking for Barthol. Barthol. I found him. He's right here. He, okay. He's right inside that, and someone aggroed him. Okay, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. And let's get back up. He's he, wait, no mind. I have four dwarves on me. Okay, okay. Oh, yes. Back up here. No, no, get, get over here. Can you come up here or we go down? I'm trying. Hey, we're coming down here. We're getting there. Let me get. Uh, where in the heck is he? Is he was on feigned death. Good. He feigned death off. Okay. Good. Good job. So, in fact, let's help split. Okay. Got killed some dwarfs. Okay. So. He's at, should be in some kind of little fortress, and what you have to do is you have to break the fortress down, which is kind of cool. So this this expansion pack had destructible environments, which I think are, are kind of nice. So when we get a chance, we can try to break down part of the, the fortress and see him coming out. And then uh, he'll come out with a whole bunch of stuff. Or you can just pull him right out of his castle. Yeah, you can pull him right out of the castle. And those catapults over there for another thing you can kill off destroy the catapults okay gonna slow them and barthol is out guys so where is he and trying to look for him i guess you can't pull him out he no, just no, no. Back in. yeah he's um when I killed him before, I had to knock out the whole thing. But I guess if you can pull his ads out like this, this is pretty good. And Dwarf Hero Head, okay. See the wall go down? That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can kill off his ads unless they keep insta-spawning. Are they insta-spawning? They're not insta-spawning, they're just resetting. Okay. They're tethered. Okay, but we can just kill him or another. Okay, I'm on Barthol. Uh oh, he he feigned death me. Okay, so that's one Ouch. thing he'll do. So one thing is he he will feign death you. Dwarf heads for five thousand. He feigned death me again. Me yeah, I keep again. getting fucking tossed. Yeah, he, he will do that. He's got a, a toss mechanism. Okay, he's almost dead. Okay, uh, okay, well. What are these are you doing? Yeah. He, he just ran after skulls? Or boverts? Yeah. Yeah, well, he fucking threw me in the pit. <laughs> oh, he threw you in the pit. Oh, gosh, here we go. Got oh, some shit. other guys. Bovik warrior. Poor Yannick's got knocked yeah. off, too. Yeah, get over here, uh, Twimby. Oh gosh, where is he? We're not going to get a shot of him. He's dead already. Twin B fell down. Okay, he died. Where am I? Okay, he, he mysteriously died. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, what can you do? Okay, so let's take a look at it. You may see an aura back there. It's, it won't show up on my screen. There's an aura over there. I'm not sure what the aura does. So let's take a look. Here we go. We got the Cragmaker, and we have his earring. 
Now the earring is not bad for the era. I mean, you know, for an open world raid mob. Look at this agility. And the 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 one-handed blunt. Okay, so if you're gonna do some egg cracking for Vish, you may want something like this. But it's not the greatest. But who knows? Maybe it looks cool. It looks kind of cool here. So this is a, a preview of what I look with where using it, and I think that looks pretty good. So, um, but I wouldn't trade it for what I've got, even though it looks pretty nice. Look at that, guys. Nice little thing, his hammer. Let's see, what do I have? And the earring is nice. I'm using this thing. It looks like an ice cream cone. Uh, I think I'll hang under what I have. This might be good for a party or something. And he's got some bones that he dropped, and that's it. Um, I'll let you guys sort it out. Good job. Every time I see an aura like that, I think of Lady of Life doing that encounter where you get it, you have to run in there. And good old twin, uh, not a baby, got knocked down too. Didn't even notice this. And see, here's one thing. Look at this. You can work on the wall. Oh. So you can knock the wall down. You can destroy the whole place. Look at the, the ballista in the middle. You can go ahead and cast spells on it. You can destroy all their weapons that they have here. And this is what you do since we didn't get to actually see him get killed, which is okay. We're going to ruin his house. We're just going to destroy it. Yeah, see, Aww. look at that. When you, The more you destroy it, the more you damage it, the more it, it falls apart. And see, Actually, we're just here to air condition his house. Yeah, that's right. He was complaining about how it was so hot. But one thing we did do is we killed a lot of his ads off before we got in there. Because if we were to encounter them out here, um, they would have all jumped us at one time. It would have been you know, near wipe. Yeah, and so you, I think there's something. If you kill off enough of these guys, what will happen is, like they said, uh, you'll get um, the different faction will spawn out here, which is kind of neat. So the next one's Rage Wind. You're absolutely right. We will Ooh, follow you. Very nice. Good old Rage Wind. Don't follow me. I don't track. Look at these guys up there. All waiting up there. And they will change. Okay, let's see what the track shows. Okay, Rage Wind, level 76. He's ahead and to the left. So he's probably, let me check. Straight ahead through the ditch and up the hill. Uh, he's to the right. Okay, so I gotta go this way. Maybe he's moving. So now it says to the left. Okay, straight ahead. Going over the ditch. And that, for him. that fortress in the middle is really something else. Guys, there are some good augs that also drop in there. Nice place to go ahead and to the left. Let's go around this guy here. He's over here. We're coming to you. And I knew and he'd be a dog. Watch out. Okay, never mind. He's not oh, that's play. him? Oh, that's a hunter. The big coal thing in the air over here. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah. We'll kill this guy here. So the way to get into the castle is you got to break the door down, which is really neat. Okay, so there he is. He's got the target ring around him. Let's move over here. Lots of stuff going on here. And the Rage Wind, there it is. And level 76, it will take a large force to defeat. So he's no, he's not an army, but he's still tough. And look at over there. You see the guys fighting. You can actually help out one side fight the other. Hang on, guys. There's some orcs coming. We might have to destroy them first. Yep. Yeah, I believe if you have more than two groups with you, like loot won't drop or something like that. Or maybe that's really? two. Something like that. I think that might be EQ too. Yeah, that might be EQ too, yeah. Okay, we're clearing off the mess here. And just little whatever items here is a. Uh, nope, not an AUG. Looks like Rage Wind is incoming. There he is. He's got all the rage in the world. Wow, look at that. He won't make a great screenshot because he's just a pile of rocks. Oh my gosh. What? 
Oh, ho, ho, ho. What? Well, what happened to him? He had no he's not, HP. He's not a raid mob. He's oh, a God. group mob that's just slightly harder than a group mob. Okay. And he bit the dust. Yeah. And that would be indicative of his low hit point loot. But, guys, we have the big daddy of them all. Okay. So there it is. Uh, damage of fire based spells by 40%. So this is a nice ring to have. But um, if you don't have TBM gear, this is really nice. Uh, out there, uh, Dark Elf Dustin Rune 3 Weapon Aug drops in the Fortress Zone. I camped it for 30 hours straight. All right, 30 Dustin. 30 hours? It must have taken a while. I took three months, and I still never got it out of my, my warrior. Really? Yeah, oh. literally nothing but, like, doing basic stuff to stay alive and camp that off. For three months. Oh my whatever. gosh. Wow, but that's crazy. I have it on my bar. You got it? Oh, <laughs> I have it on my bar. Because <laughs> I camped it on Thunder Snake. Oh my gosh, you got it. It's one of those camps where you pretty much have to almost AFK camp it. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead, we're looking for you know who, guys. Follow the group, everybody. Get ready for the big challenge tonight. Because we're going for it, and who knows if we go get it, maybe we'll go in and try to get the Rune 3 Og. I've been here, I, I haven't seen it either, so I, I always thought it was like a myth or something, but hey, it's true. It does drop. No, nope, it does but exist. Just ultra, ultra rare. Oh, Twin B's got somebody on. What? What happens? Oh, we got it. Something on close. Okay. okay, here we go. We got him. Oh, there's some more stuff here. Okay, let's get back to where the rest of the group is. Where did everybody go? Summoned. I got some like halfway here. across the zone, it looks like. Really? Oh, man. Okay, got this trash mob out of the way. And uh, Dark Elf Dustin said he hopes it's here when he comes back. Okay, so we'll uh, follow you guys to see if anything good drop. No. One of the things that make that Jade of Ether so rare uh, is, there is it can never be up. Oh. Because the NPC that drops the, the named is KOS to everything else in the zone. So everything else in the zone will kill the named, but will never kill a placeholder, which means you have to be camping it. Whoa. That is a Titanathon. Where is he, guys? Did you guys right get in front of me? Well, we need to find a slightly safer spot than the middle of a bunch of mobs. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to have trouble. Okay, so you're somewhere else, Ash. We'll find out where you're at, and then we'll go over to you. Oh, right in front of you guys. Straight ahead. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, I'm he's saying he's right in front of me. Right over the thing here. The hill. Right over the whoop de doo Now he's walking back. Oh, I see him there. I see the top of his head. Okay, guys. Level 80. This is the one. We'll take a large force defeat. Well, we'll see about that. He's doesn't say we'll take an army defeat, but don't be fooled, guys. He's going to be tough. And this is some kind of aura here. Okay. He just spells like crazy, too. Oh, boy. Let's make sure we get a, a screenshot. Let's move in a little closer. Guys, call it out when it's time. We're gonna move over. Oh, there's some eyeballs. Watch out, Les. Oops, someone got Titanathon. Uh oh. That was me. I feigned him. Okay, good. Oh, no, you he just didn't. feigned it. Hang on. He just came for me. <laughs> oh, got a little eyeball here. Go ahead and kill those. Okay, evil eyes. Oh, there it is. I trans. He's on someone. Yep. Oh, he's on oh, taking him. Oh my gosh. Okay, game time. Okay, discipline's down in a few seconds. Be ready for the heals. Okay, let's, right. let's get the guy. Yeah, he keeps. Oh my god, me. I keep getting thrown. Yeah, I get tossed. Yeah, he keeps I can't tossing do nothing. Me. He just keeps tossing me. 
Okay, let me try to get a slow on him. Oh, he resisted. Let me get the Tosh on him. Okay, so let me just engage Titanathon. Okay, we're doing... Got him a little bit. Come on, slow. Did not land slowly yet. He's got Ogre Buddies. Okay, we got one slow on him. Turgers is on him. Game over, Titanathon. We got you now. And he made me take a nap again. Okay, good work, everybody. Now, the Relic Dragons had way more hit points than this guy. Yeah, his thing said, you know, it doesn't say uh, we'll take an army to defeat. But he's still he's still tough. Because oh. he, he keeps making us take naps, dirt naps. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Keep taking that same old dirt nap. Are Shatter Knights immune to feign death? You must be because you have a a button already, and it's probably trying it's to... a, it's it's the stun portion that's making you immune. Nope, we can have it on us too, though. I did resist a couple of his. Yeah, but he's he's got full frontal uh, stun immunity. Less does. That's probably it. Okay, half of the uh, fight is spent. Laying on the ground. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. Got him. All right. So down goes Titanathon. Let's see. Uh, I transfer drop some other goodies. And let's see what he dropped. Oh, you got to be Ooh, kidding that's me. That's a nice one. There we go. And there it is. Bloodstain, Silver Weave, Wristband, and Hit Point Regen 5. And this is a good one. It has zombie malaise. It increases duration of detrimental spells by 35%. Once again, this is really on par with uh, raid gear. I mean, the high level stuff, uh, TBM gear, because it's better than that, actually, which is nice. <laughs> the, 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 the DPS charts are looking really funny. Uh, Twin B solidly trouncing Yonix, because Yonix spent half the time in the dirt nap position. Um, but very nice here, 300 uh, hit points. That tells you it is a good item. So guys, go ahead and roll for it. I guess we can go over to like the bridge or something and wind it up. Or, you know, uh, if you guys feel like it, depending on the There's time. There's going to be at least have a mob one battle more. going on. There's Behind be us to the south, I guess. Oh, oh what's that? To the north, I mean. I thought you said I was going to have a challenge. <laughs> hey, there's gonna be a. Hey, we can go for a challenge. There's one inside Severag. Yep. We can go to right this second. I, I know yeah, the let's one. Do it. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, I, I think I know the one you guys are talking about. That guy's. He, he. He. Oh gosh, if we get him, that's gonna be something. He's definitely above us. Saddle up here. Everybody's getting saddled up. Uh, what, I'm running out of cash. Where'd you guys go? Uh, inside Severag. I'll kill these guys right here. I think I see you guys over there. I gotta find the door. Door's way Ooh, down. Oh, that's a lot. Keep going, Nodens. Keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, they just popped on top of me. Yeah. Uh oh, we got we got company. Watch out, Meiji. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. Oh, guys. Okay, help. Just don't attack them. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, just keep going. Let's just run for it. Follow me here. Follow me. Just keep running through there. Hopefully, we can outrun them. How do I get in there? You break down you the door. Beat the door down. God. All right, I'm gonna do some laps while you guys beat down the door. Bring it over to me. It's open. Go in the door, guys. Door's open. Run through the door. She said, <laughs> Batty, Twin B, just run through the door. Thank you, whoever broke the door down. Yeah, those mobs just happened to summon me, even though I had no aggro, and then they were all oh, over me. Did you make it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about Ash? You made it? I did, but I turned around and went the wrong way. Okay, you'll make it. You come back. They're mostly dead out here. They're, they don't have tons of hit points, so I, yeah... The three or four of us ended up killing them. Now, this zone is called Severag, 
and uh yeah yeah oh i see who's up okay and they're uh, scold uh there's a, a couple i think there is um a air the warlord i think he's up where is he I'm waiting for everybody just killing the rat last of this trash here yeah and restrained uh uh creation that's a group yeah. named yeah, some of these will drop a nice AUG, I remember. Restrained Creation drops a nice 58 point, 50 man Endurance AUG. Yeah. So, uh, the Subjugant, let's see, is he one? Yeah, the Subjugant is up also. And, he drops uh, a, a uh, Frost Damage proc AUG. 125 points. So we're going to make a, uh, a spin around this thing here, this, this nice fortress. And we will be back here also, guys, after this um, in the future. Because in the middle, I think you go to some other zone. I forgot what it is. Razor throwing the tower. Sorry. That's right. That's what we are just talking about. You're absolutely right. But these guys spawn pretty quick. So, um, you know, I've been here before, and it, it doesn't take long for the stuff to spawn. So you people can farm this stuff out. Uh, let me go. Okay, so oh yeah, we gotta knock this door once again. We gotta beat the door down. Oh, and go oh look who's in front of us. One dude, waiting to get killed. Oh, somebody's coming. Um, Bellclaw is also one that we can go after. He will drop something nice. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to go directly south? He's and clear it or this guy right here he's right in front of us yes glad the um the worrying down the hall here oh this guy the bull bed no down the hall we're it's, he's a worrying okay. worrying so you want to go that way down the side halls yeah less you want to aggro ash don't you dare Okay, let's get ready to follow here. Well, this guy in front of us must be the undead because he cannot see me through that invis. Okay, Les is running at him. Okay, we're doing the hallway here, so come on into the hallway. You want me to go ahead and pull? Oh, wow, look at this guy. That's right. Yeah, yes, no. Uh, it will be up to you. Og dropper. Then yeah, we're pulling him. So we're in the hallways here. You can you can get around this place by going through the hallways. Oh oh oh! Look at this. He drops. He went the other way. Shadow stone. Of, shadow stone of hidden flame. Oh, we decided to go the other way. And he can drop some other nice stuff too. Can't kill the ads first. Okay, I got stunned there. Okay, we're gonna get a slow on him. Do an AE slow if you can. I gotta get load up to AE slow. Stand by. So I got, oh yeah, these these guys. You're gonna see some. Oh, AE slow is gonna take a while to come up, guys. So stand by. No, nope, don't need it now. Okay, on the named. Okay, we're gonna take him down. Watch your aggro. Yep, that's right. Don't watch your aggro meter. Okay. And he has balance on him, so he's he's finished. Nice type eight there. Okay, let's see. And the AUG, as usual, the AUG drop. Ooh, that is good. Wow, look at that. It is a Type 8, of course, guys. So two Heroic Intelligence, two Heroic Wisdom, and AC5, 90 hit points. So uh, you guys go ahead and roll on it. If you want it, I'm going to skip on it. Congratulations, guys. 
I'll leave Too bad it doesn't go in the charm slot. <laughs> it's always hard to find those good charm slot items. Yeah, you know, there are some, but um, that's one slot that you really want to fill. Wait till the anniversary edition. Get your good augs at the anniversary edition. Yeah, that's right. You want to see my aug in my charm slot? No, not really. I know what it is. I don't want to see it right now. <laughs> Okay, these guys just bit the dust. But where's the next dog named? Um, out here. Oh. Uh, we might actually be a little bit farther from it. Let's see. Yeah, it's over there next to that pyramid. Let's come out here. We can make it over there safely. And NSS Crazy K, hello, welcome aboard from YouTube. How's it going? Um, and you guys just shot him. That's good. Look at that. That's Magi on that AUG. Yeah, Rats. you can use it, Magi. All right, Magi won the AUG. Okay, so we're going out. Are we going to stay in the hallway here? Up to you guys. I'm out here killing stuff because it's in my way. Okay, either way. We do have one guy coming up, uh, restrained uh, Cretan, Cretan, whatever it's so small. Hmm, I just ran past those guys. They didn't even bother with me. Of course, they might bother me with me now with me dragging a mob past them. Huh, where are you guys? Let's see. Okay, you're back behind. Yep, here they come. Okay, staying with the group. Okay, so let's uh, yeah, let's stay together, and uh, if we can fight him outside, uh, we'll oh, be able to take a look at him. Oh, uh, he summoned him. Come down the hall. Okay. Yeah, he summoned me. Yeah. So uh, here it is. Let's go ahead and just get him slow. Oh boy, he's going down fast. Bam. Yeah, he's just a group named. But the AUG is nice. It's a slot seven. Okay. Well, seven and eight, actually. Okay, partially successful on the slow. Let's see what we've got here. Restraint. Oh, yes, this AUG. Two stamina, 50 hit points. This is a nice AUG group, uh, type 7 or 8. Could work with either yours. So um, you may want, if you want it, guys, the way to get it is need. Need will allow you to roll on it. So just click need and you can roll on this here. So this is a very nice item. So everybody go ahead if you want it on the green one so make sure you click on it this is a, a nice aug everybody don't want to miss out on it we're only about halfway the way till uh, or around the zone to where the name normally is. Yeah. There's another restrained uh, guy, so uh, we can get him. Let's see where we are. Okay, let's uh, hold on a little behind you. We can actually fight him where he is. We don't have to, I mean, these other guys, we don't have to pull them into the hallway. It's kind of hard to see them in the hallway. Yeah, if you guys want to come up, it'd be a lot faster. He's going to be somewhere up ahead here. Okay, wait up for us. Is he outside in his normal spot? I wonder. 
Sometimes he's outside, sometimes he's in the hallways. Yeah, we can we can track him. Uh, yeah, he's outside. He he's out in his normal area. He's mean. Okay, so we should fight him outside. Red. Okay, where? Uh, he has a really large knockback. It's better to fight him inside. Okay. Um, if we can take him outside, uh, let me see where is he. Um, he's around the corner. Oh, this you guy. Come outside. Yeah. Oh yeah, this guy here. Okay, let's. You guys, you want to be in here? We so. Can... Go oh, sorry. Go ahead. We can fight him out here. I mean, he. This is the guy that you. He's a toughie here. Let me see here. He has a really yeah. not large knockback. Yeah. If don't can... want to fight him out here. Uh, but it, yeah. Leroy Jenkins, let's go. It's a challenge. I mean, if you can face him, kind of uh, in a way to one of the walls okay dude it's just try it to get ready it's clobbering time for you his face okay guys here we go let's get him he's bard slowed okay go ahead i'm gonna pop it on let me get the slow on him Okay, and let's see what do we have. We got balance on. Dude, him. he's got some hit points. Yeah, he's he's yeah, got he, some. He's... And he hit you hard. Yeah, you you got him, Nodens. If you need help, Nodens, let me know. Let me dot him. Hold up. We, this is a big test. Here. With the damage on me. Okay, and you will see that. So as long as you're like this, you're you're gonna be okay. Defensive on. Keep firing, doing great, guys. If you need help, call for assistance. I didn't get a chance. Is he rampaging? To yes, he does single target rampage. I gotta get um, a cripple on him real quick. Okay, doing all right. We're fighting him mano a man. I'll fight like a man. Got a cripple on him. That'll fix his wagon right there. So cripple has landed. Turgers is on him. He's gonna have a very bad day. And disease is on him. Here comes a poison. Yeah, I'm popping juju on him. Heal over time on less. See, going back to disease. Guys are doing great. Really, really working them good. Wow, you guys rock. I, <laughs> I expected him to be even tougher, but wow. Yeah, it only takes five seconds for me to go to from full to empty, so you never know. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he could spike this damage. This guy's not over till he's over. Yeah, he's got a lot of spike damage. But no death Snowden's on you, so you're going to be good. Okay. <laughs> Until I died or in rage. I don't think you can in rage. Wow, look at that big AE. <laughs> yeah, the knockback can be fun. Okay, come on. Let's go, Twin B. Step on the gas. Wow, okay, we're stepping on the gas here. Let's pepper him. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perlando with that 55k blast. <laughs> Let's see. Really? Oh man, that there it is. Perlando 55k to finish him off. And what did he drop? Uh, there it is, guys. There is a nice sword in here. Sword. Check it out. This is pretty good, I'll have to say. Um, warrior, Paladin, Ranger, Shadow Knight. Uh, the damage delay is pretty good at 84, 33. So if you want it, press need, guys, on the sword. This is a very good sword, and I'm going for a spin. Oh, 
Okay, so okay, so dude, he's got a last blood also. Mm-hmm. Yep, last blood dropper. Oh, what is last blood for? Yeah, something we will never get at this point in the game. Oh. Yeah, it's really kind of pointless at this point too because it's for uh, cultural raid armor. Um. Massive trade skills and massive farming. Yeah, you, you basically have to put in like 50 hours worth of farming to oh, get it done. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to do Last Blood then. I mean, it's it's pointless at this point. You, you you get way better from other gear. Yeah. Cool looking zone. Totally, totally cool. Let's see who wins the loot and see what happens. We still have the subjugant and uh, another restrained and then Jarl is up, I think. Rats Shadow. Shadow one. Wow. 996. Wow. There's no you chance. You must have really wanted it. It is well, good. Well, that'll be my only 900 for the year. Now, Shadow one, what were you using before this? For a two handed? Yeah. So in the DPS charts, Yonix and Twinby fighting out the close battle right behind everybody else. So uh, this was good. Wow, we took him down, guys. Oh my gosh, this guy's this guy's a toughie. So Shadow One, oh, he's got the Soul Shatterer, and what he was using before. Oh my. This is a gigantic upgrade. And the way I know it is because um, Twinbee has uh, Valak's uh, two-handed piercing. But look at this. And I'll show you what Yonix has to just give you a perspective of how good, how good this item is that you have here. So Yonix has the Shadow Thorn. This is from a TBM mission. You can see the difference here. But of course, you know, it's from TBM, but look at the damage delay ratio. It's, uh, you know, part of it's because of augs and all that. But but the Sundering Sh Sword of the Fallen Hero, that's an amazing weapon back in the day. Wow, look at that. You had something like that that was just, that was really killer. Yeah, back then, definitely. And still is now. I wonder if it is the best uh, two-hander you could get in the, the era. Uh, I think... Um, Perlando might know. There's one more raid target here. Okay, here for, it comes. For what, two-handers? Raid mob like this? Our same boy again. No, I mean, no, uh, someone almost talking about two-handers. The best you can get an era. Wow, Shadow Thorn, that's got a lot of gear. I mean, that's some nice stats. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, dropped from a chest in one of the TBM missions. But, um... It's still, it pales in comparison to Death's Head. <laughs> Death's Head. Yeah. I saw that and I thought that was a two-hander first. And I looked at it and I go, what? It's a one-hander? Just, that's just amazing. I want to say that it's very close. That Shadow Thorn is very close to a uh, vicious two-hander. Well, if this was theater, I think I'd have to accuse some of these guys of overacting on their death scene. Yeah, what raid do. mob are you talking about, Les? Uh, my map says that there's a raid target to the left. Uh, possible raid target, yes. See, we okay, have, well, you guys have track. I don't know. Uh, Subjugant and Jarl are the only ones that are up. And they're they're not raid targets. They're just little guys. They're, they might... What, do they drop augs? Subjugant does... Okay. I can pull him. If you stay here, what's funny is I I've been here before, and the guy the, you know I I this is a good spot. You get a lot of stuff, but we can move up there. It's a cool place. Okay, uh, I guess everybody's moving up. I'm pulling subjugant. Don't uh, know how many ads I'm gonna get. Well, we got some ads here. 
We've got the warrior here. Let's kill this guy. Okay, good. We got rid of this guy here. Okay, so we can find a spot and uh, oh, Shadow One's got some stuff. Okay, so we got some over here. We'll help you guys out. Here we go. Subject broke off contact. Yeah. We're Am I supposed to accept the heroes challenge mission? What's that? No, that's part of Razor Thorn. So, click no, I'm assuming. That's the group version, so yeah, click no. Okay, we got the trash cleared. All right. So I guess we go up to the subjugants area then. We'll follow you. Well, the easiest way to get to them is go up here. <laughs> You're going to go over the wall. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, he's inside there, huh? We can go right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're saying. You want to go that way? I mean, it's the easiest way. It's up to you. Oh, we'll just go around the regular way. Okay, go right around. Follow me here. We're going to follow Ash around the corner here. Oh, patrol leader here. Savage Fury, die! And a subjugant somewhere. Where is he? I got him with me. So when you guys come in through here. Okay. Savage Fury popped right on top of the Savage Fury. Interesting. There's two Savage Furies? Yeah. They're so savage. Oh, that's the, the you know, the uh, placeholder for the Jade of the Ether Dropper. You showing them how to get in here, Les? Yeah, there's just lots of mobs in the way. Okay, and it looks like the subjugants here too. I just left. <laughs> Someone crossed the zone. Okay, and this is what you gotta do to get the subjugant. You got lots of trash mobs to clear. Probably repop, right? Let's see. Gonna get a lot of subjugants. Let's see what do we have here. Savage that subjugant there's his aug in there. After we clear these guys, we'll go ahead and see what's in what kind of aug it is. Heart of ice, this is a nice one. It is a uh, freezing strike. Goes in slot four. So this is nice if you have a weapon. Really, really nice. It fit in there. Um so yeah, definitely going to, uh, Yonix will go ahead and roll on that. 
It also it's goes in good. shield. Wow. So make sure you hit need. Now everybody should choose n not never. And uh, let's see, what is this here? Elaborate Defiant Plate Greaves. We can give those to Serratus. Okay, so we got Yonix and Twinby have uh, hit need to roll on it. Let's see who wins it. Looks like I won it. Send it. Oh, I run the other one. Yeah, you got the blade, yeah. Now there were two augs. I got the emerald of Savage Fury. Oh, oh, I didn't see it. It was another one of those same. Oh, okay, so there it is. It's a, there's another one, just in case you didn't win it. Um, the Heart of Ice is the one. That one, the Heart of Ice, is a good one because, well, actually, I don't want it here. But for you, uh, for Twinby and Yonix, you should try to get that. That'll be good oh, for your I weapon. Have... You want it? Okay, Twinby won it. Yes, say yes. Okay, congratulations, Twinby. Twinby got something nice. Very good. Congrats, Twinby. Yeah, you need it when you get in there in the melee or when the mobs summon you. And yeah, that's it there. That will really help your damage a lot. And more uh, elaborate defiant plate. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll it so we can give it to Serratus. She's uh, got a level 50 cleric. So she, I'll just collect those. Good job, everyone. Yes, great job. Um, looks like we have cleared everything. Uh, I wish there was a nice spot. To, we just have Jarl. Uh, I don't know if he's anything. Come up to the door and do a thing out from the door. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that would be sweet, good. Sweet, yeah, let's go over here. Oh, it's a cool door. This is the one of the raid zones we'll be at soon enough. Some some ominous spoilers. And that Jade of Ether, and by the way, just a heads up just for everybody in the stream and whatever listening, that Jade of Ether, the guy spawns right here, and that's why the the other guy that's here will kill him, and the named has, like, no hit points and KOS to everything, so, like, everything in the zone will kill him. <laughs> wow. So he will never be up unless you're... And then what will happen is if, if you are camping him... And you go AFK for a minute, and this dude here over here spawns. He'll run over and kill him while you're AFK. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, I got one for you, Serratus. Elaborate, defiant uh, plate helm for when you get to be level 59. You can wear this, and we'll get you some more uh, defiant. This is elaborate, defiant plate grease. I can't roll on it, so, uh, but I'll get you some more stuff. And when you get 70, we'll get you more let me get off my carpet here. Actually, I think I have a group of that in my parcel that you sent me a couple of months ago. Oh, that's great, uh, Shadow One. If you could send it to Harmony, uh, she's uh, that's Serratus out there in uh, chat, and uh, she could use it. She's um, building up a cleric. Okay, I'll do that. Great. We could really use uh, her help later on. And you're welcome, Serratus. Thanks for watching us. Uh, and guys, from uh, Sevrag, uh, the Stronghold of Rage, what a night. And we'll be coming here in the future, guys, for a big, big raid if we can get the, the flagging for it. But what a fantastic night. Lots of stuff. And we handled the toughest of the tough. But get ready, because Friday night, it'll get tougher. And actually, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday night, we're just going to keep climbing up the ladder until the raids stop us. So we're going to keep on fighting. Big thanks to everybody for watching and those participating. Thank you so much, guys. You did a great job. And thank you for your support out there, guys. Stay tuned tomorrow night for more action. And we'll see you then. See you later.